back to Cooking Corner with me, Giuseppe Cremibroli. Now many of you have seen the video for my spaghetti carbonara, but what you may not know is that that is only one of three main pasta dishes in Italy. Today for you, we're making the second, cacio e pepe. Now in terms of ingredients, it's pretty bare bones. What you're gonna need is a box of thin spaghetti, some pecorino romano cheese, salt, and pepper. Now in terms of hardware, you're gonna need the following. You're gonna need a large pan. You're gonna need some tongs. You're gonna need two measuring cups that can get very hot. I've used glass ones here, but some plastic ones also work. You're gonna need a small measuring cup and something to grind your pepper into. And finally, you're gonna need a pot and strainer. Now, for this particular recipe, I have a pot and strainer combo that works wonderfully. But if you don't have something like that, I'll show you how to do it without this. Now, step number one, as always, is gonna be, that's right, wash your hands. Go ahead, turn your water on, stick your mitts underneath, get them nice and moist. Once your hands are nice and wet, flick your fingers out and add some soap. Two squirts is my preference. Then you can rub it all over your hands, get on the back of the knuckles, get in between the fingers. And once your hands are nice and soapy, stick them back underneath. You can wash away all your aggressions and hatred towards pasta. Wash away all the sins and crimes we've committed. Once your hands and your conscience are clean, you can turn the water off, grab a towel, Dry your hands and we're ready to cook. Right on to step number two and step number two is gonna be put your water up to boil. Now, I know you probably know how to boil water already, but this is gonna be a little bit different than normal. For your pot, normally I'd tell you to fill it two thirds of the way up with water and then add some salt to it. But you're gonna want the starchiness from the pasta in the water. So fill it only halfway up with water and then add salt and put it up to boil. On to step number three, which is going to be measuring out the rest of your ingredients. Now, while your water is cooking on the back stove, it's time to measure out your pecorino and your pepper. Now, to start with, you're going to want to measure out 200 grams of pecorino romano cheese. Now, volume can be tricky when dealing with cheese because it comes in so many different shapes and sizes. So, we're just going to go by weight. 200 grams. Now that you've got your pecorino romano weighed out, you should put it into a small mixing bowl. You will be adding about one cup of ingredients to this later, so it's gotta be in a large enough bowl that you can mix it. Now, the other ingredient you're gonna need to measure out is gonna be black pepper. So, you're gonna need freshly grated black pepper, about a tablespoon of it. So, you can grate that out with your pepper mill, or you can buy it grated, doesn't matter to me. Now that you've got your one tablespoon of black pepper measured out, you're ready for the next step. Now that your water is boiling, it's time to put your pasta in. But there's a twist. You're only gonna cook the pasta halfway in this pot of water. So whatever it says on the box, this one says six to seven minutes, you're only gonna cook it for half of that. Three and a half minutes to four minutes maximum, all right? So carefully, not to burn yourself, take the top off and add your pasta. Then you can grab your tongs and move that pasta around in the water so that it becomes fully submerged. Now things are gonna ramp up since the pasta is in the water. You're on the clock. What you're gonna need to do is, in your separate pan, Heat up your one tablespoon of pepper. I recommend putting it over medium heat so as not to burn it. It should start to become very aromatic in your kitchen. Now that your pepper is on, you're gonna grab your measuring cup. Grab your measuring cup and add one cup of the pasta water to your pan with the pepper. So, your pasta's going, your pepper's out with your pasta water in your pan. What do you do now? I'll tell you. You need to take your two measuring cups 
and set aside two cups of the pasta water to add to the Pecorino Romano. So do that now. So it's been four minutes. It's time to take our pasta off, strain it, and then add it to the pan. So we'll just come over here, grab our pot, strain our pasta. This is where the built-in pasta strainer would come in handy. Toss our pasta around a little bit, and then you'll add it to your pan. Use your tongs to toss the pasta around in the pan and cook it the rest of the way. Now that your pasta is almost done, you want to take your pecorino and slowly add the pasta water a little bit at a time until it forms a nice creamy mixture. So go ahead and slowly add your pasta water, just a bit at a time, until it gets nice and creamy. Gonna need a little bit more. Now, once your pecorino is a nice creamy consistency, you're going to throw it in the pan with your pasta and pepper. And then you'll very quickly toss the pasta all together. It's important that you do this quickly, otherwise the pecorino will be ruined. Okay? Watch me do it. Now your cacio e pepe is done, and it's time for the final step, which is gonna be plating. So go ahead, grab your tongs, grab some cacio e pepe, twirl it up in the pan, and then transfer it to a plate where you'll twirl it some more and pull the tongs out. And just like that, you're ready to enjoy. Now that your cacio e pepe is plated, it's time for the taste test. Go ahead, grab a little bit of it, twirly, twirly, twirl. It's a little hot. Mm. 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 That is delicious! That concludes this week's episode of Cooking Corner with me, Giuseppe Cumiroli. If you like this video, leave a like below. If there's something you want to see on the channel, comment it below. Cacio e Pepe was actually a recommended recipe. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye bye now. George is not going to like that.